Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley from the Broadway Global Methodist Church. Uh, reading through the Bible together this year, we're in 2 Chronicles, capturing some of the story. Uh, and we have the King Josiah, who again has led the people to center their lives upon God. And in chapter 34, beginning at verse 31, it says, And the king stood in his place and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and all his soul to perform the words of the covenant that were written in this book. Then he made all who were present in Jerusalem and in Benjamin join in it. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem did according to the covenant of God, the covenant of their fathers. Well, we rejoice in great leadership. I, I don't know out of our, um, uh, our, our elections and the democracy that works out in our, uh, in our republic, how we're to find leaders of the quality of Josiah, but consider what Josiah is doing. He's saying, you know, he's a political leader, but wherever we have influence, say we need to have this centered upon God. God has given us great and precious promises. God has, God has sent his Messiah to us. We are beyond even all the, the goodness that Josiah knew to know that God's son has come to live with us and given his life for us. Uh, for the forgiveness of our sins on the cross. He's been raised for us. He sends forth his Holy Spirit. And he has set us free from the curse of sin and of death. And Josiah says, In light of all that God has promised, I will do his laws and his statutes. I will look carefully to, to what God is, is calling me, a person living in his day and in the center of his purpose should do, and I will do it diligently. And he leads others to do that as well. Um, it is it is one thing to set your heart to obedience. It's another to say, well, how can I then influence others to set their gaze and fix it upon God? Let that be our aim. Let that be our joy today. Amen.